Welcome back to the Three Bourbon Years. This week we have our channel's first redemption, and we're yeah. doing the Barrel Proof Ten Year Rye. So we're coming in with a bang. This, yeah, this is a big uh, one. This is like one of their biggest products. So. And you picked this up for uh, hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. Yeah. $100. Where'd you find it? Like where? It was at High V actually. Okay. Um, I went there. Uh, I saw. So this is batch two. I saw that they're batch one uh, last year. I can't remember which event it was, but I read about it where it won like Rye Whiskey of the Year. Um, I've been on the hunt for uh, their 10 year because I've seen their High Rye one. I've seen their Rye and it's not 10 year. This is their 10 year barrel proof Rye, it which looks, is. It looks like a, like a, a rum bottle. It, I, does, it does look like a rum yeah. like it. No, it definitely does. So obviously age 10 years, right? <clears throat> uh, alcohol is 58.1%, that's 116.2. Um, <laughs> yeah. The mash is 95% rye, 5% malted barley. So pretty standard. This pretty is batch- heavy rye. This is yeah. batch two, bottle uh, 16904. I mean, high age rye. You How many do times do you very often. And barrel proof. How many and times do you see proof. a high age rye, uh, pure barrel proof rye. They're not barrel proof. High age barrel proof. Not yeah, high, that's what I mean. High age it's either. got the yeah, whole I mean, package. Yeah. It's got high age, high proof. What are these guys up to? What's going on here? Why? Right. What's their motive? Like, what are they? I mean, I for for if you want to contrast this against uh, a Kentucky Owl, oh yeah, right, ten year rye, yeah, right. That's like a two hundred and thirty dollar bottle. Yeah, and it's very old, it's high age rye, very much overpriced. Back here. <laughs> I got long arms. Kentucky Owls are overpriced. Oh yeah, there I said it. One hundred proof. Oh, oh, I don't yeah. think anyone's gonna disagree with you. <laughs> okay, holy cow! Did you throw some out? Yeah, they're excited. Right and all the way by you, no, Mayor. You really sent her flying. She's excited. You got the squeaky chair, huh? Yes, the chair. Yep. <laughs> so, I, I full, full disclosure, Mitch and I have actually tried this bottle before. This is the yes. first time Ethan is trying it, and uh, so we're both curious to see. It's if been a while says, though. Like I forgot kind of what it's like. I forgot what it's like. Wow. Wow. Oh my uh, God. <laughs> I think, I think it smells right? like rye. This nose is better than Elijah Craig 18. <laughs> oh, this nose is better than a lot of whiskeys. Oh yeah, it's it's like, light and holy fluffy. Smokes. What and does that smell like? It is, I said I said am amplified seagrass. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. That yes. was one thing I said. The, seagrass. The, the nose to me is very similar to seagrass. It's like that, that sea air coming off the coast. Yeah. In yes, caramel. I, I love bourbon, but like, Rise? Are rye you, is like. Are my, you a rye guy? Rye is like. Rye is your jam. Like I, I love rye. Like. Well, this is a ninety-five percent high age rye, so I guess. I mean, high, not high age. Just like age? this. This immediately, like, I'm, I'm getting chills because of uh, Michter's. Yes. Oh, I can't. Not wait you guys try that. It's just like stop. It's, it's literally one of my most sought after bottles. It's life changing. Does this guy? Does this guy remind you of, um, like, High West Rye's? Maybe. It does. I'm a getting a bit. hint of like Stellum. A little Stellum. Like I get a bit of Stellum black. It's probably not as potent. There's even some smelling. In there. I'm just enjoying it. I haven't said a word about it. Yeah, like, we haven't even described like, it yet. That's how good it is. I mean, the nose on this is. I mean, I get I get lemongrass. I get classic rye spice. This is pretty uh, complex. Like uh, I, there's a lot going baking, on here. Baking spices. I agree with you. Rye, I mean, you get the rye bread. I mean, you're getting that. Yeah, it, kind it's, of, there's a lot of heavy like. I'm lemon. getting a little mint in there though too. Like There's mint. Yeah, it's definitely complex. There's a lot of like, well, yeah, like picture like 100%. a gin and tonic or a, yes, with a uh, mojito. Yes, and you're like going to sip it and you inhale. Oh yeah, like that's I'm definitely. getting like. Oh yeah, yeah. that's that's just that's. Yeah, I, it's hard to explain. If you guys have smelled like a really one. high proof rye, like it's it's very potent and very. This is throwing me for a curveball because I was grass. not expecting. You're right. expecting it to be crap, right? Yeah, because of the bottle, yeah. it looks like crap. It's. There's not I, a lot I'm gonna be honest, the bottle is bottle. nothing to be The desired. fact that you can't even read the label That's until you're saying. like right here, yeah. And like, okay, Redemption, I, 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 so far I like, yeah, I like the nose. I can make this in clip art, like, come on. <laughs> hey, you know what, maybe that's the whole point, is that it it's supposed be. to be subtle, and it's supposed to be like that hidden bottle of whiskey on your shelf where you're like, oh, yeah, right. you think that Colonel yeah, Taylor yeah, looks yeah, cool? Yeah. This is gonna be well, like, you this, is try this. this yeah. is like, uh, Driftless, we like, Crapped all over Driftless Glen's bottle. And, and got a lot of hate. And then they commented on our those, channel. And they're going to be like, like, well, my grandfather brought a bottle like this over from Ireland. And, and like, you know like, what? We're sorry we didn't know him. <laughs> yeah. Dude, the all legs. Right. All right, legs are great. It. Legs are great on it, too. 100 bucks? 100, 100 bucks. 100 bones. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. 
wow. There is some, this is the, uh, it's, it's getting better, man. This is the second cousin of seagrass, I think. It's getting different. That, okay, comparative against agree. Elijah Craig 18 and those 90 proofers that we just did last, oh. this thing lets you know it's home. It's kicking the door down. I mean, you're not wow. knocking. It's just. This, is this better than the Stellum Rye lineup? I don't think so. <laughs> no, no way does this beat Stellum Black Rye. That is that is my honey. My so honey we'll, we'll get into that. We'll talk about it. I'm but about to go find that bottle. Hey, there's one right now. There's Come one at IV right now. Oh, you're talking Stellum. Yeah. Well, there's one of these right now sitting there for a hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. This makes me want to go out and buy it right now. Okay, so you like that? You like that seagrass? Yeah. Let's get back on track here. What are we doing? Right, right, right. <laughs> Lots of rye spice, caramel, heavy vanilla. I think that You're that oceany that. saltiness comes through. That saltiness, too. yeah. Big time. Grass, grassy. Being a lot of. It's like a saltine cracker. Yeah. In a way. Yeah, it's very bready. You get like a lot of that yes. rye, the rye bread. Usually you just get the baking spice. This has that bready aspect that I like. It's like buttered this gonna, toast. This is gonna sound wild. I got mint on the nose. I'm getting like herbaceous, like basil or something. Oregano? Yeah. On like, I like that. fresh green just herbs. Like cracked, like smacked and like rubbed in your face. Yeah. Like this would be really good with a like heavy pasta dish or something. I don't know. I like a know. chicken, like, like a chicken alfredo. Yes, that's what yeah, I'm saying. With like, like some oregano. And I've never said some rosemary in there. Yeah, or yeah. Or bay leaves. I don't know. Like baking stuff that you're gonna like fresh. Like if I'm in Italy, I picture. I put the. You know, I, I, I like to picture myself. I love put place. myself in your place. Yeah. We like going oh, into yeah, the yeah. Green Jaguar once yeah, in a while. Yeah. Let it take you somewhere. We've yeah. been in like where, the where hammock, are we going? Uh, on the beach. Where are we going? Where are we, we going? We are in here? like the rocky mountainside of Italy, oh, 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 and there okay. is like an older woman of yeah. a bushka, like yeah, chopping up tomatoes <laughs> and like <laughs> making yeah, a tomato sauce. Amalfi Coast. Amalfi Coast. Yeah. And we're sitting with like, we all have like the That's white right? button up yeah. polos on with like a fedora and a cigar. Oh and man. we know there's Italian dishes coming our way. Oh, this like, a, like a good ravioli or some yes. kind of a... Breads, yeah. raviolis, olive oils. This bottle. Lots of oils, assorted oils. Right? This bottle took you to Exactly. Italy. Oils and balsamics and... Mm -hmm. It took me there. I'm, I'm ready. There. I'm ready to have a balsamic salad now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude, it's, it's very good. It's... The, the high proof lets you taste a lot of that rye spice. Um, they do a well job balancing it. It's yeah. not heavy burn. I mean, it's hot, but it's not like it rounds out to the throat. Like yeah. it's not. So I will say, well, initially Mitch, when you and I first tried this, mm -hmm. I don't think that the finish was very long. It wasn't, it was short. It's long now. I feel like it is. It got bigger. It I got feel like longer. it has changed. I'm not going to lie. Like this it's like bottle a 10 to me second has, finish. I feel like it's it's still kind of sitting around there and it almost is like a medicinal kind of finish to me. It's yeah. almost got this weird, like funky, it's kind of funky. Mushroomy kind it is. of like it's finish. funky. Did that play into like the herbaceous thing? I, I think that's what it is. Like, and it's, it's to me, it's only on the finish, which is like the best part. It's like, it doesn't touch any other part of the sip. The whole sip is like rye and all this good yeah, stuff, yeah. and then all of a sudden, like on the end, it just like this, this like weird this mushroom bite. just comes and caps it, it, it off. Yeah, it, I don't. And know. You're just like, hmm. Wow. I kind of like that. Yeah, it's should been, we? It's should been we a get while into since I've like been this excited about. Let's it. get into it's try by the love night. It. I love it. It's exciting. Yeah. It's exciting to get happy about well, whiskey mean, for a while. How many how many times do we find a hidden gem, right? Why don't you go first? Since right. you're gone the last three weeks. All right, uh, so I pulled the trigger on this. I think I think it's a buy. Um, I would go with the try, but if you like rye, um, go for it. I mean, you're, if you don't like rye, why would you get a 95% rye whiskey for a hundred bucks? So if you like rye, this offers that like funkiness, uh, heavy rye spice, it's got you know, you got the 10 year, you got the high proof. It just carries so much value for that price. I mean, we were just, we just did Elijah Craig 18. All there is is an age statement. There's not high proof. You know, it's, there's not a lot going on. This has three different huge pieces and it's a hundred bucks. I say go for it. Um, it'll be a different bottle that sits on your shelf that you're reaching for. So that's what I say bye. 
You want me to go? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm a buy. Yeah. I have to be a buy. Yeah. You love seagrass, man. So this has got to be like. If you said you were. I might even like this more than seagrass. It is. It is. Wow. Less, saying something. It's less uh, punishing than seagrass. Like seagrass, I can have a glass agree. of it, and it's kind of like okay, like okay, I can tell I had a glass of whiskey. Perfect. This, this, I feel like I could have a couple. Mm -hmm. Right. Another thing, seagrass is what uh, maybe 15 bucks cheaper than this. Yeah. Not that far off. You're giving me ten year a ten year age statement on a rye. Yeah. You're giving me barrel strength. Yeah. And you're giving me a hundred dollar price point. That's such a good value. Even if it didn't taste good, I'm still gonna buy the next <laughs> right. one I find. Yeah. The fact that I did not pick up the one that I've seen at High V last, well, I'm upset. It changed though now. since the last time. It we has changed. It, right? So like, again, the like, first time I mentioned I tried this, the finish was not that long. We both had the same thoughts and said, "Wow, the nose is unbelievable. The palate kind of fell short." I believe that this has opened up. It this has, is totally I, different I, to me. It's it's definitely different. It didn't have that funkiness on the end of the last time either. Yeah. That finish. I don't know. This is a surprise whiskey of the year to me, dude. One nice. that I would buy I, every time I see it. Yeah, you, know? you got you, you got two buys. Shocking. Oh, I'm about to drop a ball on you right now. All right, let's hear it. Uh, okay, well I'm a buy. We got three buys. Um, certified. I finally found something good, guys. Certified star I, <laughs> I said it earlier. What this was reminding me of, right? I was like, what is the it? Stella this reminds me of Stella something. Black? No, it wasn't that. What did you say? This. Reminded me of the Mictors. This oh, is what it is like. Dang. Just so you know, this is. I, I cannot wait till we get our hands on one, or you try wow. it. Wow! And we can compare the two. That's awesome. Because I'm sitting there going, I've had this. Like I are, are very close to this. Like this is reminding me of. Something. And this is yeah. right. That's what this is. Wow. So this this could be a comparative yeah. buy if for all you people who want Mictors. Exactly. Ten year bucks. ten year Mictors rye. Yep. Right. Go for this. I mean, it makes yep. sense. It's a ten year. Yep. Barrel strength rye is yep. Mictors, right? So this is. Uh, oh wait, no, I don't even think it's barrel strength. No, I think Mictors that's like is ninety a, proof. Uh, no, it's a higher proof. It's. I, I think it's a, a higher. I think it might be. Is it one hundred? Let us know. I thought it was ninety proof. It might. <laughs> it might be ninety. Proof. It could be. Is I don't know if the bur I think the bourbon might be ninety. I think they're both ninety. But anyways, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. This is. I. I don't know. I. I need to try that again because yeah. this could be better. I don't know. I, wow. Okay. So it's, I think you landed on a gold mine finding this because I was sitting there while you were talking. I'm like, holy smokes, that's what this is. Like this is very similar this is stuff. Him. With that being said, this is he. I'm a buy. This is him. <laughs> this is him. Uh, man, we gotta talk about this bottle, dude. I <laughs> I'm so let down by like juice this good in a bottle this ugly. And I don't. We need care. to put it in a nice I don't decanter. Care. I don't care if you hear it. Like. How? When you're going up against like the, you know the industry, right? Like, put this in something worthy. This should be like a Heaven Hill style bottle, like it a, like a decanter. 18. It should be uh, in like a decanter style bottle. Honestly, the thing we have to do though is we have to we have to try Stellum Black against this. Against because Stellum Black was our number two whiskey of the year yeah, in 2022. Yeah, that's true. We're and, leaving that, and it's like out. my favorite rye. It's one of my favorite rye. rye's ever. So this has an actual age statement on it. Yes. Right? Again, Bardstown product. We should have mentioned that earlier. Not MGP. Oh, yeah, right. Not MGP. No. This is, but it's Indi it's Indiana. Indiana. Yeah. It says distilled in Indiana. So, Stella and Black Rye, Indiana. Yeah, a lot of Indiana that's true. whiskey. So, very yeah. similar. Yeah. So, maybe they're getting some of the stuff from the same place. Uh, probably not, but. I was not expecting that. Yeah. I, Hidden, Hidden Man, it's, it's good. Yeah. It's gotten better. Well, holy smokes, I'm so happy we tried this. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so glad that I pulled the trigger on it. I was at the store, I'm like, you know what? I feel like this doesn't, this doesn't get either. any clout either. Like, there's no, like, hardcore, like, the branding community. Sucks. Like, that's yeah, why it is. And this, the this whiskey may not get us many clicks, but people, if you watch this video, share it with a friend, send it out, tell the world, <laughs> tell everyone, this is good stuff, okay? It won whiskey of the year Grab for a reason. Think of the Penelope, like, the cast finish. Like it should be in a bottle like this. Right? Oh yeah, I like, mean, yeah, this is. This should be in here with a crystal top. Do yeah. yourself a service. Do Something yourself like good. Put this in here. Make it look fancy. It'll fly off the shelves, and this will be the actually, most popular whiskey. Or well, the thing is, they, they don't make a lot of this. I think that's the problem. This right? so actually, their regular bottles have more of a label than okay. that than is. this. That like it's like their special labels. Just their special bottles just have this lower label. Gotcha. Otherwise, the regular stuff has one going down the middle. So Mictor's ten, dude. Kind of interesting. Damn. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Have you tried this? If you haven't, go get out. If you find one, buy one. Uh, you got three buys here, so you heard it here first. Um, 
But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned to some of our other videos. You're gonna have a video pop up. Check it out, it's gonna be amazing. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, love to hear from you. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. All for one and one for all. Cheers. Cheers.